was I guys? Honestly, I don't know about this whole idea, but uh, it's become a trend on YouTube and a few other social channels about people sharing their meal with others. And I guess after COVID, I can kind of understand why. It used to drive me nuts when I would see people posting pictures of uh, of their food on, on social media. It, it actually it just bothered me. But I guess uh, I was talking about, you know, I, I profess a lot about social psychology and how we can make ourselves feel good in life and understand the way that we compare ourselves to others, social comparisons, that kind of stuff. And mirror neurons are something they study in monkeys that when a monkey sees somebody, another monkey do something that it is capable of doing, a certain part of the brain uh, fires. And when they see these different neurons fire, um, they've gotten a lot of ideology from it that when we see other people do something we're capable of, then we want to do the same thing. Like maybe seeing somebody's meal on a plate makes you think, hey, I could be having that meal and you have a relation to it. So these meals do well. I don't think it's just because they want to eat what the food is that you're taking a picture of. But a big thing is people eating on Instagram, uh, YouTube, and people, I guess, now that we can't eat out with each other as much, it kind of feels like you're having a meal with somebody. So here I am having a meal on a video and just sharing a meal with my video so I can share it with other people online. Which I guess maybe makes people feel like they're eating with somebody else and since a lot of people are kind of stuck in their houses and the world's not as social right now with social distancing and everything, maybe this is a thing. I don't know. But I'm willing to try it and we were talking uh, at our team meeting yesterday for the KyleCorbett.com page and imp reduce... Uh, Reduce Impact and San Diego Sailing Tour is my kind of little collection of brands. And we were mostly going over Impulse Upgrade podcast and what we could make um, work for people. And we talked about mirror neurons and how people want to see other people doing things they could relate to. And one of those things came up was these videos. And each of us kind of agreed that maybe this is part of that mirror neuron thing where we like to see other people doing something we could very much relate to. I'm hanging out on board Seas Life right now. And um, I'm having a bagel with some cream cheese on it that I made um on the stove top here with some eggs where i chopped up some fresh uh tomatoes some fresh bell peppers some fresh onions and then threw in a couple of spices some black pepper and some garlic and um that's what i'm having for breakfast um i also made a uh a cup of uh ocean breeze roasters coffee which is amazing it's a local small business out here in california where a couple guys uh roast their own coffee they keep killing it in all the contests so uh We've been trying to support them as much as possible. It's very, um, very natural, awesome, amazing coffee. Um, but I'm just enjoying a meal and sharing it with people online. See how that does. I have to say, I'm a pretty big fan of the Trader Joe's Everything Bagel and their cream cheese. It's pretty insane. I've actually never done all of my shopping there before. I was telling my friend Lauren the other day that um, I had never done 100% of my shopping trip there. I usually go there for a couple things. Um, and this time I did all of my shopping at Trader Joe's and I'm pretty stoked. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn good stuff and most of their stuff is organic. So I love that part. But um, my buddy Justin's actually been teaching me a little bit more about how to buy healthy and um, eat through the organic stuff. So half my shopping done this week was at the co-op um, in Ocean Beach, the People's Co-op uh, down in San Diego. And um, the boat is on anchor right now that I'm on um, in San Diego Bay. So I'm floating on anchor as I have this meal. I'll show you guys a little view out the window too, why not? Since I'm enjoying this view, I can share it with you. This is the view out the window that I'm um relaxing too as i hang out on board and eat i just did all my dishes so i'm actually eating over the stove rather than in a conventional way and for some reason this has also driven the girls that i've dated nuts i don't usually eat sitting down i eat like kind of actively um standing up i'm, I'm not advocating that i just for some reason end up eating standing up a lot so yeah eating a meal on a video not gonna lie not exactly used to it but i mean Test out those mirror neurons. See if people relate to having a meal, hanging out. I mean, maybe your meal not, might not be on a boat, but you're somewhere and you eat, right? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Here's another cool thing too. As most of you know, I um, I promote a lot about ocean conservation and about um, recycling and how we can reduce our impact. Reduceimpact.org is a, a website I started that um, that myself and a couple of friends run and we're kind of building into being a 501c3 at one point. We can finish the filing <laughs> for the lawyers to finish the paperwork. Um, but I promote most importantly about um, sustainable living practices. This is one of the ones I use. Um, this one, um, my ex Kirsten and I, uh, we've actually been able to remain friends um, after a little turmoil, of course, um, got me onto this. She got me to stop using paper towels and to, for the most part, just use um, just use a uh, an actual rag. And that's kind of my normal napkin now. So I keep a few of these around the boat and just use those, which I like because it's actually saving me money and uh, you know helping the environment a little bit by not using um, paper towels. So kind of a little bonus there. I, uh, I used an air fryer to toast up the bagel this morning and I put it in for a second round and it came out just perfectly brown, which I am actually really stoked on. One of the best bagels I've had in a while. Well, I need to jam off to work pretty soon. So my my commute will be jumping out of this boat and getting into a 13 foot Boston whaler then heading over to San Diego Sailing Tours. And um, she'll be wearing the shirt um, where I work and uh, going to work. I'm excited though. I'm going for a mountain bike ride with my cousins. I'm gonna go up and see my mom in Santa Clarita for a day uh, and then go for a mountain bike ride and see my cousins in San Luis Obispo. So Steve and Holly, stoked to come up and see you guys. And then uh, Mike, I'm ready for the road trip, buddy. Stoke it up on some good fuel. So anyhow, hope you guys are enjoying your meal if you're having one. Fresh home cooked breakfast. I love it. I actually had no plans on making this breakfast, but I know I needed to clear my fridge out because I have to leave for a few days. So I didn't want to leave all this stuff just uh, kind of sitting in there going bad. So I uh, cleaned the fridge out, moved everything into the freezer that I would need to, and turned out I had a bunch of fresh veggies and some eggs and a beautiful meal here. I don't know if this eating of on a video thing is going to trend well or something that people want to watch and see but um i'm willing to try anything three times so why the heck not well before i finish here i'll take my next bite and instead of having you guys watch me chew i'll turn the the video and give you guys a nice little view of outside maybe i'll just turn it also and show you my my ride to work slightly unconventional but you know it's a, a fun way to get by got a couple of texts coming through here all right messages how digitally connected our world is, is awesome. It's also kind of a little bit not awesome because it leaves us connected all the time. It is cool to get messages from our friends on every one of our devices, our computers, uh, our, our tablets, our phones. But I was talking to my friend the other day about like this digital minimalism thing that he's been working on and I kind of respect that as well. I think it's kind of a different strokes for different folks, but you kind of have to do it all. You have to minimize your, pardon me, <laughs> minimize your digital communication and you also have to maximize it at times to take advantage of what our world offers us and the ability to communicate and connect the way we do. So kind of a double-sided double -sided sword, if you will. Technology has allowed us to do all the amazing things that humans are able to do now and connect with all these other people in the world that we can. I mean, shoot, we couldn't connect with anybody or I couldn't show people this video of me having breakfast here. I couldn't have breakfast with you with, without technology. If we had COVID going on, you know, without all the resources we have. I don't know. Double-edged sword. Here, I'll give you guys a little tour. Last little bit of my view here, and uh... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put hot sauce on that bite. Mmm. Little hot sauce on a spoon never, never fails. My view out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should promote this product too. I think I will. I'll probably make a, a landing page for it. These are amazing, guys. Uh, I actually got a lot of likes on one of the um, 
Instagram videos I did. It's a, it looks like a spork kind of. It acts as a spork. You can cut food with it. It's a Thai uh, spoon. Uh, my cousin is married to a Thai woman, and um, it, he showed it to me, and they're amazing. I use them for most of my meals now. And yeah, this is my commute for the morning, and momentarily I'll be hopping down into the dinghy and making my way off to work. Oh yeah, my uh, sustainable trash equipment here, where I have a bag put into a reusable bag, and look at that, no single use plastic bag to take out the trash. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in guys, see you next time. Look forward to having breakfast with you again.